Hello, we're fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed, my uh, opcom is not working. This is a fake Chinese copy with um, everything is fake inside. The FTDI chip is fake. The big chip on this side is fake. Everything is fake. It's what you get for twenty dollars. So I had the original newer. Uh, interface this is called interface uh, that I had to use and I installed the newer drivers so the whole thing uh, stopped working because automatically updates the drivers on this thing as well now when we plug it in and if we lucky it will recognize it uh, it works ok on the other laptop so it's not fully bricked now we'll go to devices, um, you type here device, this is Windows 7 but it's almost the same for all the Windows. And then it recognizes as a USB serial converter, you press on it and you press properties. And then the driver, it it's 0, uh, 2.10, okay. So what we're gonna do now, we'll go on the... FTDI chip page and then we're gonna go to the drivers and you scroll down a bit more uh, they changed the website so it's different when you're watching it may be different and you'll get a setup executable and we'll also go to support utilities this is important we go to the utilities and we'll go to CDM uninstaller and then we'll get with the uh, GUI version. We'll get this one. Show in folder. We'll get this one. And now we're gonna install the GUI. <clears throat> you remove the ID. I did it on the other laptop and it works so. And you press that. Then you press remove devices. And you pull. It's important to pull this one out. I didn't pull it with it. Let's hope it's gonna be okay. Now, I'll get to the two, this one. I'll get to this one and then to, no, no, not this one. Uh, this setup run did it run? but I see it running ok let's, uh, let's try as administrator installing driver install this driver software anyway give it a little bit of time process completed now Let's open again the devices. And we'll plug this one in. Properties. Details. Driver. Now we need to restart the computer. Okay, let's restart it and we'll, <coughs> we'll see what's gonna happen. It said that some some windows were open. I just pressed um, OK twice. Okay, so it's uh, restarted now. Let's go to devices. Yep. Now universal serial bus controllers, and we'll plug in the. Now we'll see what is the drivers 2.8.24. Okay, okay, settings 
test interface and it works fine before you couldn't make it work that's it well that's how to change the drivers on uh, Opcom with uh, newer drivers I hope the video has been helpful to you and we'll see you on the next one bye bye